In this video, we're going to talk about saving configurations on the Palo Alto and then reloading them at a later time. This is really useful if you make lots of changes to your Palo Alto so that you can then roll back those changes quickly and easily uh, if there are any issues or if you want to roll back to what you had previously. Uh, this is actually a habit I would suggest for everybody to get into so that you can easily roll back whenever you have any issues. To save our configurations, what we do is on the portal, we come over to the device tab. Then under setup on the left hand side, we then click on the operations sub tab. The operations sub tab, now we can see that there are a bunch of different options right here under configuration management. And specifically, we are interested in the load and save options right there. Uh, we can uh, specifically looking for saving a named configuration. This means that we can name what our configuration is and then save it for posterity. So if I go ahead and click on this, it will ask me what name do I want to give it? I highly suggest you have some sort of a naming scheme. I am partial to the date and time, specifically starting off with the year, month, day. So 2020. 0605 as I see down here at the time and then dash and whatever the configuration would be so default and then say okay and it will tell me if there's any issues with that name nope no problems with it awesome so my currently running configuration my currently committed configuration has been saved I can now make whatever changes I want to the firewall when I'm done with that, uh, if I want to roll back, I can go back to a loading a named configuration snapshot. So I go click that, uh, click the drop down, and it gives me a list of all of the policies I might have. Here's the one that I just created, so I can click on it to select it. I didn't encrypt it. Uh, I don't need to check any of these other options, so I'm just going to say OK. So the configuration is being loaded. Check the task manager for those options. Task manager is this guy right down here. So if I click on that, that gives me a list of all the currently running tasks. And I can see the latest task is load. Status was completed. Awesome. Now that it's loaded, I can commit that. So I click commit and commit. So I saved the configuration. I, in theory, made some changes. I didn't like those changes, so I wanted to roll them back. So I reloaded it according to the name and then recommit those changes back. At this point, as soon as the commit is done, I can, I will be back to where I was when I saved the configuration. One more step that I could do here is I can actually export this configuration. Uh, so now that I've saved it, I can export it. And then once it's exported, I can remove it off of my Palo Alto, or I could even move it to another Palo Alto device for configuring over there. Go ahead and save that. And it saves it. Where does it save it? My downloads folder. Yep, downloads folder. Uh, at this point, I can go ahead and open up, say, WordPad. And I can see it is in fact just a really big XML file that I can go ahead and move off into some other uh, configuration management tools such as uh, GitHub or other Git or as, uh, version control system. Uh, for continued version control of this environment, or like I said, I could then import it into an additional firewall somewhere else.